want you to sit down here and phone your mama and tell you you're gonna stay here and watch the movies with us. Ron, sit down here. Hello, Ma. They're gonna show those stupid movies again. <laughs> yeah. That's right, Ma. We know it's late, but it's time for another episode of Flawed Family Flicks. <laughs> Watch close, and you may even see some of your family here. Are you serious? Well, where do I come in? Shut up and sit down. Be ready. I will make you understand. Oh, yes. I remember the time Mother sent me to spend the weekend with Cousin Buster and his family. Cousin Buster had built his first boat. I remember thinking, Cousin Buster hasn't given much thought to how he's going to get the boat out of the basement. It just seemed to me like the boat was a lot bigger than the door. And I think Buster just noticed it too. So had his wife. That's me in the back seat. Good old Buster, he wasn't giving up. He'd just make the door a little bigger. should do it. Okay, he'd make the door a lot bigger. Buster destroyed the house. Cousin Buster, he was always up to something. he salvaged the oars in the lifeboat. Cousin Buster said, Oh well, I can build a new house. Yes, don't you just love the smell of salt water? So here we finally were to launch the boat. Buster took the car and started to pull the boat into the water. And then his wife saw his son. Stop! Stop the boat! She tried to stop the boat. But he forgot to stop the car. Uh-oh. Doesn't look good, Buster. Oh my gosh. Well, Dad, what are you gonna do? What any good father would do. He sinks the car. Come with me, boy. Yes, sir, it's Buster the Sailor Man. Best secure that line there, Buster. He runs a taunt ship. 
the master of all he surveyed. So we christened the ship, Defino. And so it was that we were underway. Whoa! So there goes Buster, sailing down the river. That's Captain Buster to you folks. Yes, sir, he made a fine sea captain. Watch out for the bridge, Buster. Whoa! Oh, well. Thank God Buster was an Olympic swimmer. You can do it, Buster. And so we got back our captain. I think his wife was just starting to worry. But I had faith in Buster. At least until his anchor wouldn't sink. point, I began to work. But Buster quickly had it fixed back up. And then he went fishing. He even caught dinner. Convenient how they come in a trap nowadays. Even his wife was pleased. Full speed ahead. Yes, sir, Buster sure loved his boat. So good old Buster got us underway and came down for a dinner. But I wondered who was driving the boat. But it was dinner time. Who cared who's driving the boat? Buster told us to eat up and be happy. Well, I'll eat up, but I won't be happy about it. Well, maybe we won't eat right now after all. Good old Buster. Whoa! That was the part of the trip where we went uphill. But the really fun part was when we went downhill. we hit smooth sailing. Good old Buster thought he'd liven things up. Maybe hang a picture. Wow, that's quite a picture, Buster. It looks real. But, he found a good use for one of the stakes. Waste not, what not. Watch out for the wake of the speedboat. Don't you just hate those Sunday speedboat drivers? Ah yes, don't you love the joys of living on a boat? Cousin Buster figured he'd better go topside and see what was going on.
darn those pesky drivers. But Cousin Buster knew what to do. He just set sail for the open water. So Buster locked in his course, and off we went. He set a course for open water and stuck by it. Soon it was night time, and thank God it had been a long day and I was tired. Suddenly, the boat began to pitch around. Then we noticed the wind was beginning to pick up a little. And then water began to come in the boat. That didn't seem to make Cousin Buster very happy. I remember thinking, gee, this is fun. But Cousin Buster didn't look too happy about it. He decided to go topside and have a little look. I think he found it a little windy. Well, thank God Buster was in control. Buster was having a hard time getting a fix on our location. I guess you could say it was a dark and stormy night. Good old Cousin Buster, he was always in control. He ran in and told us to flee for our lives. At this point, Buster locked us in the closet. I felt a lot safer in there. And he began to send an SOS. And got an immediate reply. Cousin Buster signaled for help. A passing ship hurt us. The operator said, who is it? And Buster told him, Dampino. And for some reason, he said, neither do I. That won't be very helpful at all. 
Oh, well, no hope coming from there. But Buster kept trying. I guess this is what they mean by getting the runaround. And finally, in the true tradition of the sea, Buster nailed his feet to the deck. And kept sending his SOS. Frankly, folks, I was having fun. Our vacations at home never went like this. But I got the feeling like Buster was getting a little worried. Or maybe it was just a little seasick. Good old cousin Buster, he knew how to show folks a good time. And then we sprung a leak. But I still felt like Buster had it in control. Buster had a plan. Then somehow, the ship sprang another leak. For the first time, I was beginning to think things were getting out of control for Buster. Buster, he remained calm. How could I have known that he had a plan the whole time? First, he sat down and calmly thought it through. Maybe he could put it out one cup at a time. And then again, maybe not. Meanwhile, the storm raged outside. Yes, sir, Buster had a plan. His plan was, we would flee. Run for your lives. Put on your life jackets. I was having a blast. This was fun. But I still would have felt a lot better if he'd have let me have the life jacket. So we went up on deck. Immediately I noticed it was a little windy out. But I knew Buster could take care of us. He made you feel secure. Buster put out the lifeboat. And we climbed on board. So there we were in the lifeboat. Thank God I felt safe now. Yes sir, that Buster, he always had a plan. And then, Buster sailed away. I can still remember his wife going, wait, come back! <laughs> Poor Buster, he was grief-stricken. And 
so it was that as we watched, Buster sank beneath the waves. And suddenly, once again the waves were calm. But we'd lost Buster. No, wait, there's Buster. It just goes to show you can't keep a good man down. Buster swam over the boat and sat down on me. I think even Buster's wife was getting concerned. And then his son pulled the plug. And the boat began to sink. Oh my God, we're sinking. Now I can remember getting just a little concerned at this point. But if we had to go, at least we'd all go together. It just seemed like going was taking an awfully long time. And then Buster stepped out of the boat and walked away. Hmm. It appears we'd sank right next to the shoreline. Looks like we were on shore the whole time. Ah yes, safe on shore. Buster's wife asked, where are we? And Buster said, damn fine no. That Buster, he's a heck of a guy. See you later, Buster.